Bonjour, Émilie Talpin, OM System Ambassador. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got a little package and we're going to open it together. So let's get started. So a few weeks ago, I told you that I was going to order the new TG7. It's right here, just came in the mail. And uh, yeah, let's open it together. I got my special knife right here. So here we go. It's pretty small. It's very exciting. Oh, I actually had completely forgotten that I had ordered the uh, sport holder which is great because the tough tg7 is always going to be out with me and this i can just clip on my backpack so it's really it's i think it's a good addition oh yeah this is really nice so you can just uh, put your camera in this and it actually works with the uh, tg6 so tg6 tg7 they both work and you can just clip it to your backpack and the case will also protect it a little bit or you can also strap it super super convenient now let's go and check the camera it is very well packaged uh, and look at this this is so small that's the tg7 package really really small I personally love that this is just a cardboard box because who cares about the box that your camera comes in. I like that I can recycle it and to me that's important. That shows that OM system cares. It's not about a box. They're not selling you a box. They're selling you a camera. So go and recycle this. Don't create, you know, more issue for the environment. So small steps, but important step. And actually, I think it looks quite nice for a cardboard box. I really like the design. Here we go. And so inside you have your warranty, a very small manual, and then the camera is inside and you have your camera and to the side actually uh, you have a cable to be able to charge your camera you don't need any charger which i like because just plug it in and it's done no extra addition to charge your batteries and also that's how you transfer your image if you plug it to your computer then on the other side right here your battery super small i mean this is teeny tiny and this will need to be charged. Uh, so that's the first thing that I'm going to do. And then this is the TG7. It is beautiful. Love it. I love the grip as well. Very, very, very nice. I went with the red because let's be honest, I'm going to put it in water and I need to be able to find it. Um, so it's going to go everywhere with me. So red is my color of choice. And last but not least, you have a little strap to be able to uh, put it right here and tie it to your wrist, which I used on the TG6 and I will use again on the TG7. So just so you can see, this is the TG6, this is the TG7. There's not that much of a difference. I got the black version, but the TG7, I really wanted the red version. And here I also have the flash diffuser, which I will move to the uh, TG7. When I do macro photography, that's great to be able to use this flash and diffuser. But otherwise, I mean, it's pretty similar. The design is pretty similar, but the grip is a little bit different. This is much better. That's a better grip. I, it's not going to slip. So they did improve the grip yeah this is a little bit slippery this is better on the tg7 it feels better in my hands too and then you have the logo so that's om system and that's the olympus brand okay well um 
time to go, put the battery in and charge the camera. Oh, and also I want to go and register this camera. Uh, I'm just going to go on the OM system website and make sure that it is a camera that is added to my list of cameras. And if I have any issues, then it's right there. I have all the paperwork for the warranty. The TG7 is charged, so I thought I would head out to the White Mountains and see what I could find. I actually have kind of an interesting setup. I'm going out with the 150-400 and the OM-1 just to make sure that I have something if I see, you know, wildlife. And then in my little backpack, uh, my it's a 6.5 liter backpack, I actually have the TG-7 and I added the diffuser. And inside I have the OM-5 with the 12 to 100 because I'm thinking I'm gonna do some landscape today. Um, there's a little bit of cloud, which is nice. And the colors are really popping. So we'll see what we can find. Yep, I'm going out with three cameras, but not heavy. So I'm really happy. I'm thinking this would be a good place for a move. I have to come in maybe another time of the day, but you never know. I've been really unsuccessful with moves this season, but check that out. So I ended up trying the panorama mode of the TG7 and it, it is super fun because basically you press the shutter and then you just follow the little dots and you can do up to three photos and then it combines it together in camera. I thought that was great. I had a lot of fun uh, making a, a photo of the beautiful panorama of a uh, little ton. So this is what I got. So I just came back from my little trip with not one, not two, but three cameras in a teeny tiny backpack. Uh, and uh, it was really easy to carry those uh, three cameras and the gear. I really liked it because it opened kind of a new way to see things and be more creative. And it's true that most of the time I do like to go with just one camera and think with one lens. But it's also fun to have three cameras, three different options to shoot and use one camera for filming, one camera for shooting. Uh, it just opened up a little bit of options for me, especially as I am a single woman trying to create videos. It's not easy. I don't have a team behind me. So it was fun to have all those options in a small package. And on my way back, um, I ended up stopping to see a waterfall. I knew that I wanted to use live composites. I have already checked the specific spot and I wanted to have all those leaves creating a circle. And I could have used the uh, TG7 because the TG7 actually has live composite, but I had forgotten to add a peak design clip. So that didn't work because I needed to be very stable. I could have put it on a rock, but I just went with the OM1 with the peak design clip. And fortunately, I always travel with Albert from Three Legged Thing. So I was able to stabilize my OM-1 and I ended up taking that shot using Live Composite. But Live Composite is so fun. I think it's just a perfect, perfect computational technology feature to use during the fall. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the TG-7? What do you think of all those functions? And also, are you using Live Comp right now? 
uh, for the people who are in the fall foliage? Uh, do you think that is very useful? How do you use it? And before I talk to you next week, I want to thank you again for all your support. If you are not a subscriber, well, it's never too late. Hit the subscribe button, click on the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. But spoiler alert, I release them every Sundays. And actually, this Sunday, I'll be up in Montreal. I'm uh, taking a little break and hopefully doing a little bit of photo, but there is also the Salon de la Photo. So it's a big conference. They're bringing it back uh, since it uh, stopped with COVID. OM System will have a table and I will definitely be around. So come and see me because why not? I will not miss an opportunity to go and hang out with the awesome OM System people. So if you are in Montreal, come and say hi. I think the weekend is supposed to be a little bit rainy, so it's perfect. Come inside, come and see us at the OM System table. And until next week, happy shooting. Au revoir. <laughs>